so in this video we will be seeing how to inject the shellcode in the remote process using these three functions so first one is virtual alloc x so we will be creating memory region using this function in the remote process and the second one is we will be writing to that process memory our shellcode and next one is we will be creating this remote thread to execute that uh, shellcode as a function so let's uh, see this function virtual alloc x so it's similar to uh, virtual alloc but we will be specifying the handle to the process to create the uh, virtual address space uh, uh, memory region in this virtual address space of this process so i have already uh, made this open process so let's go and create and the return type is the uh, pointer to that uh, memory region and the first one is the process handle and second one is the address uh, where we want to uh, write to that is also pointer and the third one is size so it should be integer and next one is allocation type this is similar to virtual dialog so we'll be using a memory commit and memory reserve for this so that is also you can say uint 32 and the protection type that is we'll be using the uh, page read write execute so we can uh, we'll be writing and then executing so we can specify this one so this function has been uh, defined now let's go and define this function write process memory so it will write the data to an area of memory in the specified process so here you can see there is uh, there are some permissions uh, uh, to be mandatory that one is process vm operation uh, to get this uh, read and write operation for the write process memory you need to have this process vm write and process vm operation uh, permissions and to create the remote thread in that process we need to have this uh, process create thread query information and remaining these three we have already seen so these are the constants you can uh, see these constant values here here you can see all of this create uh, create thread query information vm operation read write so i have already uh, copy pasted into these uh, variables as you can see here so the return type for this uh, write process memory is uh, the boolean so let's see each and uh, every parameter first one is the process handle so to which process we want to uh, write the memory that is specified by this uh, process handle and the second one is the base address uh, within this virtual uh, address space of this uh, process that is the pointer to this uh, base address which we will be getting from this virtual dialog x function and the third parameter is buffer so this is the what you want to actually write into that memory region so we can uh, declare this as byte array and the next one is size so how much you want to uh, send the contents of this buffer and the output is the number of bytes written so uh, this variable tells us uh, how much of the bytes were written into this uh, memory region from this buffer so we can say reference integer number of bytes written so this function has been completed and the last function is uh, create remote thread so we'll be creating a remote thread uh, thread for this uh, process 
and that will execute uh, our shellcode as a function. So the return type is the thread handle which is also into ptr and let's see the first parameter that is actually the handle to the process and this one is the uh, thread attributes secure attributes you can uh, leave this null these will be inherited from the parent process and the stack size here you can see the stack size you can specify 0 and the new thread uses the default size for the executable so we can specify 0 here and the start address the starting address and you can just pass the uh, pointer which we got from this function actually this uh, pointer is the uh, pointing to the function of the type thread start routine so if you search for this and here you can see so we ha we have to create a uh, function in our application and it should accept one parameter and the thread will uh, start this function so it actually needs a pointer pointing to the function so the thread goes and executes that function so we can just specify this uh, virtual dialog function so this is similar to uh, from previous virtual dialog where we have specified the delegate as a function pointer so this thread automatically takes as a function pointer so you no need to convert this into delegate and the next one is parameter if this is a function if you want any parameters you can pass this and the creation flags so we can do that as uh, you can see here 0 indicates uh, the thread runs immediately after creation if you specify this create suspended you need to call this resume thread so we will be specifying 0 and the last one is thread id this is the output so we can uh, print this the thread id So our functions are, are defined successfully. Now here you can see I already ordered these uh, constants to get this process create thread, query information and VM operation read write. So let's go and say int pointer proc handle is equals to open process. And the first one is our desired access. This is a desired access and the inherit handle false and the process id so we can make this as a command line argument okay we need to convert this to integer convert dot 2 into 32 of this string so so we got this process handle now we need to allocate some memory using this virtual adlog x the first one is the process handle and the second one is the uh, address we can specify 0 so this will uh, tell the operating system to find the uh, empty space region uh, and allocate the size from there so the size of the memory region that is so I have already got this uh, calculator shellcode you can see this is also same from the previous video and this is x86 architecture of calculator shellcode so so we can say int shellcode size is equals to buff dot 
length so shell code underscore size that is the size you want to create and allocation type is mem commit on and mem reserve and the last one is production type that is page execute read write and the return so i have already created this move this one so the return type is the pointer to that starting address so let's say starting ptr so now we got the pointer to that uh, starting address to that memory region we need to fill that with the shell code so we can say write process memory and the first one is uh, the process handle and second one is a uh, base address which is starting pointer and the next one is what we want to write that is buff and the size is shell code underscore size and the last one is the reference to this integer so we can create int by its return is equals to zero so we can pass this as a reference reference by its return so the output is uh, boolean we can just ignore that one so we can also print this by its return by its return now this will indicate that actually if there are any bytes uh, if there are any uh, if there is any correct uh, this will indicate the correct or not so we should see the 220 as a uh, output here so the last function we will be using is create remote thread and the first one is uh, process handle and this one is null stack size 0 and starting at the starting ptr and this one is also 0 and the creation flags creation flags is 0 we want to start the thread immediately and the last one is uh, you can print out this one so we can say int ptr thread ptr is equals to 0 and now uh, sorry this is uh, not uh, thread pdf this is the thread id so here the return type is thread ptr so now we should be good to go so we will get the thread id and the thread pointer at this return type so we can print out this thread id so i think we are good to go so one thing you need to notice is we need to compile uh, this for x86 and for x64 so if you right click on this properties build so here you can see uh, i have uh, made this to x86 so because our shell code is in uh, x86 so if you generate the x64 one you need to compile uh, two two uh, like x86 one for x86 and another for x64 
so okay let's open an x86 powershell so we have already powershell 6536 so let's open another one and here you can see 8500 so we will be trying to inject into this one 8500 and we should see that we can see the calculator has been popped up so you can replace this uh, shortcut with the reverse shell as well and we need to uh, make sure that output format is c sharp so th this is how you inject the shortcut into the remote process using the create remote uh, sorry uh, this all of this uh, virtual alloc x to allocate the region and then writing to that region and creating the thread which executes that shellcode 